Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today's video is going to be a quick one of just showing how to spawn in an actor at a specific socket location and this will also allow you to also attach it to that socket Though you don't have to, you can just spawn it at the location but you can also attach there if you want but again you do not have to. So let me hit play and show what we're going to make today. So what's going to happen is when I press 1 what's going to happen is something is going to spawn in the socket location of my head and if I move about it's staying in that location so it's spawned in the location of my socket. However with the changes I've just made when I press it now it's going to spawn in that location but also stay there so it's now attached to the socket. Now obviously I'm just spawning in a cube on the head just to kind of simulate a hat. This can be whatever you want it to be so this is obviously good for a sword and shield or a gun or anything else you want the player to hold or even maybe a cape. Again this can be used for absolutely anything it doesn't even have to be this. It could be maybe you want to spawn in particles in a certain location on the player's socket so you want to spawn them in the hand or the feet. Again, this can be used for anything that you want. But this is what we're going to be going over and creating today. So without further ado, let me do this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open up the blueprint of which the socket is in. So for me that's going to be the character because I want to spawn it on the player socket. So that's going to be third person BP, blueprints, third person character, the socket is obviously being on the skeletal mesh which we have here. So I want to spawn it on this here. So I'm going to go to the event graph and I just get the button which I want to use to spawn this in. So you could this could be event begin play for you or any button. So for me it's one. So again, if you're maybe doing this on an attack, you want to use your attack button. If this is just for a gun or a weapon, you'll probably want to do it on event begin play. Out of pressed, what we're going to do is we're going to get our mesh. Out of this, we're going to get socket transform. Now you can do just location if you want. However, I'm going to do transform so it also gets the rotation and scale too. Again, you don't have to, but you most likely will want to do that. Then we're going to drag out of press and get a spawn actor from class. The class is going to obviously be the actor we want to spawn in, which for me I just named hat bp. And the spawn transform is going to be the return value of the get socket transform that we just got earlier. Now the in socket name of our get socket transform obviously wants to be the name of the socket in which we want to spawn this in. So for me that's going to be head or lowercase like so. Now this has to be spelled absolutely correctly to what it should be. So open up your skeleton and just find where you want it to spawn. So I open that up by the way by just selecting on the mesh and double clicking the mannequin there. I want it to be the head, so if I select the head you can see it's just spelt head or lowercase like that. If I want it to be in the right arm or hand sorry you see it's hand underscore r or lowercase. So make sure you spell it exactly correctly how it should be. I'm going to close this and that should now be that part done. So what's going to happen is this is going to spawn in this blueprint or this actor in the location of the head socket. So let's hit play and test this out. Hit 1, it's spawned in in the socket location of the head. Press 1 again, it's going to continually do this. And again, just to prove it, I'll maybe change this to hand underscore r, just to prove that it is spawning in that location. So that's spawned in the socket for the hand. So you'll notice that that's not exactly on the hand, that's just also because of how I've set up the blueprint. So let me just move it a little bit, because the blueprint isn't exactly at 0. So if I had to put that there, that might look a bit better, because the hand socket is actually at the wrist. So you can create your own sockets as well if you want a more precise location, which I've gone over in my other videos on obviously going into more in-depth on sword and shields as well. Now if we want to attach it so it stays where we are, what we can do is drag out the return value of the spawn actor and get attach actor to component. The actor and target is obviously going to be the return value of there, and the parent is going to be the mesh because we want to parent it to the mesh component as that is the socket which we have. Socket name obviously being the same one we have, which for me is going to be head. Let me change that back as well. And the location, rotation and scale rule, we want to snap to target, so it's going to stay in that position as well. So let's hit play, test this out again, press 1 and you'll see it's now spawned on our head and it's staying there too. So again, visually, my example isn't amazing. This is just a quick one just to show you the functionality of it. You can obviously use your own thing, so if you're doing a hat as well as I am, you could obviously use a proper mesh for a proper hat. But I think that'll be it for this video, as we've done everything we want to do. We set it up so we could spawn in an actor at a specific socket location, rotation and scale as well, and we can either have it to just stay there or actually be attached to the player, so it's gonna, or whatever it is that you spawn it on, so it's going to move around the socket as well. So you can have it just spawn at the socket and stay there, or spawn at the socket and be attached to it as well. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.